Welcome, Ephucus. Okay, so we are looking at what is going on for you, Ephucus, and what it is that you need to do for the next two weeks and focus on. Okay, um, we have got Nature's Whispers Oracle cards that we'll be using, the Grace cards, and Osho Zen Tarot as well. Okay, so let's give these a quick little shuffle. Quick little shuffle. Okay, so if you kiss, if you haven't checked out your activation yet, please come and do that, okay, because this may very well help you over the next two weeks as well. Okay, so let's get started here. Keep your dreams alive. Oh, I love this. This is a gorgeous card. I haven't had this come out before. So let me soak it up, a few kiss. Keep your dreams alive. Hmm, I just wonder if there's something from when you were a child that you always dreamed of doing. And, you know, how it is we get older and get into adulthood and we lose sight of these things. So maybe think back to that. Um, I feel like there's something magical about this, though, if you kiss. This is exciting, and I'm also noticing here the dandelion and this um, this child blowing um, reminds me of blowing on the dandelion. Like, you know how you used to do that and make a wish and, you know, really believe that that was going to carry your wishes off to be granted. So, yeah, maybe this is something you need to get back to. Oh, we have consciousness. Look at this. A new truth. Actually becoming conscious of what you're speaking and what is your truth. Is what you're speaking backing your truth? Do you have your own back, if you kiss? And then we have success. Ta-da! Reading over. <laughs> nah. Um... Yeah, I feel as though, look, actually, a few because it could very well be for some of you that you've already started this journey and you have um, been successful. And look, you might not be right at the end as yet, but celebrate, celebrate yourself, celebrate the success that you've had. You know, this can also be about getting recognition for the things that you have done. Just be mindful to not let it go to your head, okay? Um, so let's have a look at the next card here. A vulnerability, a fucus. Very interesting. These cards are so cool, man. They have so much detail to them. And honestly, I picked them up and I might have seen them 20 times before and suddenly I see something new. And I'm noticing the candles up here in the tree. I love this, you know, if you kiss, I get this real sense that you are so protected from your loved ones, your guides, your guardian angels, you are so protected. Um, I feel as though some of you, though, feel like you're walking on grounds, on a ground that isn't very stable quite interesting it's sort of like when you when you blow the dandelion and your wish goes out into you know oblivion wherever it goes well, actually, we do know where it goes, don't we, Fucus? It goes to the universe. It's the order to the universe to be manifested, right? But what I want to say is that it's as though when you make that wish, Fucus, that you're not sure where it's going to land. And it's sort of like, are you giving away your, your security blanket? by trusting in the process because I feel like some of you would much rather be in control of how it all pans out but I feel like this is asking you to allow yourself to be vulnerable and 
see where the winds of change take you. We've got the miser here, just flipped up. I want to see if there's anything else coming out before we... Oh, yep, sweet. Miser. The miser. Yeah, see, this is this thing of like, don't look. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. But you've got all these jewels and these gems here that you're hiding. But that's the thing, see, it's sort of like this is guarding you from allowing the currents to carry you to where you need to go. It's like you're holding yourself back in a sense. And we also have comparison here. So these could be insecurities of yours. You may be afraid of becoming vulnerable because you're afraid of getting hurt somehow. Okay, but with the comparison card, I feel as though you look outside of yourself to see, to as a um as a sense of measuring yourself and how far you've come and where you're going and where you're at in comparison to everybody else but in actual fact if you because I feel as though whatever journey you are on it can't be measured okay because for you, a fucus, I feel as though there are people on a journey that looks the same as yours. It looks the same, if not very similar to yours. Um, and these people are on this journey either as an inter for internal growth or external growth. Okay, but I feel like for you, you're on this journey doing both internal and external growing. Okay, so it, it, there's no way to measure it. On the outside, it all looks the same. But when you actually delve deep, um, it's completely different. Okay. Clear out the old. Yeah. See, there's actually, there's clearing out the old. I want to say to you, Ephucus, when you do this, when you're clearing out things that you no longer serve you be very aware and quite vigilant about the wisdom that does serve you try to be aware of what it is you're clearing out and um, because there are some things in your life um, and, and this may be I'm, I'm seeing some sort of like books or documents or, or magazines or something along these lines that may appear to you to be old and oh no that's rubbish we don't need those but there could be quite a lot of wisdom ancient wisdom inside of those so just for some of you just be aware of this okay and I also want to say this about yourself as I feel like there's inside of you some ancient wisdom that you can tap into but it's not something you can see yet um, and I was about to say something to do with the heart because this this keyhole here to this heart and throat area, it's open. There's there's steps leading up to it, but I can't see the key anywhere. So it's sort of like you're opening up in a sense, um, but there's still things that need to be cleared out. And the sorrow has flipped up, and this is one of them. The sorrow has to be cleared out. Yeah, because. In actual fact, if you kiss, there is um, something coming your way or it's already here, another person we're talking about specifically here, okay? But it could also be a passion of some sort for you. It could be an old dream that you had, okay, that that is there for the taking, but there's still old hurts, old trauma, old sorrow that needs to be cleared and worked through okay properly not just not just sort of um you know skimming over it you're actually diving in and doing the work because all the other people that you see may be ahead of you they haven't done that work so they're going to come to a roadblock at some point and not be able to go any further until the work is done. However, you're in a situation of focus where you have the awareness of yourself enough to do the work that is needed in order for you to proceed. Hope and happiness. Look at this. I love this. This is fantastic. 
right? Because there is so much hope and happiness for you right there for the taking, okay? And I actually see all these, look, look down here. It's like, this is what I was saying before. There are people supporting you that you can't even see. There are beings that you can't even see who are supporting you. You know, you're doing the work that you need to do. You're clearing out all that old stuff. And they're there cheering you on with admiration and with pride, you know. Because, you know, Ephucus, you are so special. And this is what they see. And this is what they want you to see in yourself, right? That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. <laughs> We've got healing here, yes doing the healing that you need to do in order to let this in. <laughs> oh, it's really is like making its mark, isn't it, Fucus? You know, I'm trying to be like, keep it neutral, keep it general, but boy, oh boy, this love thing is really, really hanging over us here, which is great. Who doesn't love love? I mean, come on. Um, But, you know... I just wonder if there's someone around you who is mirroring you and there could be someone around you who's really ticking you off right now. And um, in actual fact, they're triggering you and showing you these things that still need to be worked on within you. Okay, it may not necessarily be a focus that say if someone is, um, I don't know, for ex what's, what's an example, not picking up their socks, for example, and it's really irritating you. It doesn't, that's not to say that you don't pick up your socks, okay? It's to say that the emotions that are being triggered inside of you are the emotions that need to be dealt with because they're there because they haven't been dealt with. Because I tell you what, if they had been dealt with, there would be nothing to trigger. It would just annoy you slightly and you'd be like, pick up your socks and then you'd move on. But if it's really getting to you, then this is something that um, you need to address, okay? And often our closest relationships will show that to us, right? Clear endeavour. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. It's like, sorry, you can see this card here. It's like this card here, this one here in the sky has just kind of like come to this realisation of like, uh -huh. now I've got it. It opens the eyes and like, I'm on it. I know what I'm on. Though. I know what I'm doing. I love this, you know. This is about getting really clear about what path you're you're taking and why you're taking it. And um, and what you need to do to clear the way as you come up against hurdles, you know. I absolutely love this. Isolation. Yep. See, clearing away all this old stuff. Like, this is so funny because this is in the snow as well, right? And, and this person's surrounded by this icicle here. And the only way for this person to mount the icicle that they've surrounded themselves with, because they've hardened the ice around them out of, you know, doing that out of protection, is, um, is to cry and let the warmth of the tears mount the ice. Okay. Um, so that that sadness, the sorrow as it comes up, it, it slowly but surely allows you to become open enough for this path to be clear. Okay, I can't believe how fast these messages are coming out of you. This is great. It's great. So what else have we got for this card? Inner voice. Yep, listening to your inner voice. Um, I, I want to say that for some of you, it may be that you have um, not been able to hear this inner voice or tap into it. It could be that you're feeling like, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. Like I don't even have that thing that everyone else can do. I don't have the intuition. I don't have the gut feelings. I don't have this. I don't have that. Okay. Um, but I, I have a feeling for you, some of you, if you kiss that, it's it's actually the healing that needs to be done um, that is blocking that from coming through. Or, or that, no, actually, if you could say it's not the right way to put it. It's more so um, that it's, it's not that 
it's blocking it from coming through because it is there. It's more so that it's clearing. Um, because the way I see it, it is a bit like this ice here, but I see it like, okay, this is what I've been showing. You're standing in a room which has wooden boards around it. And it's sort of like the healing and the um and the sorrow are um are holding you in there. Okay, and your intuition is there. Um, but it's a matter of breaking down these boards and these walls in order to get to it. Okay, so please don't feel like you don't have that because you do indeed have that. It's just that. Out of protection, you've put up these pretty solid, these solid walls and you've gone, I'm going to do this so that I will only, I will only trust what I see type of thing, you know, um, and, and I'll do away with that because that didn't serve me in this case and it only led, led to, to pain and sorrow. Okay, but now I want to say to you that it's time to bring that back into your life time to knock down those walls so that this can now have a role in your life again okay um because i feel like you're at a place now where you can trust it and slowly build with it and and learn to utilize it so that you can be sure okay yes and this will help with your path and and sort of clearing the way for you to walk along that path um, with a vision that is less clouded. Okay, so you are worth it. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, I love this. You are totally worth it, 100%. Thing is, do you know that? Do you believe that? You see, you may say, yeah, I know that. But do you really believe it in your heart of hearts? Do you feel it deep down inside of you? Because I feel like for some of you, you dream about certain things and there's certain things that you would like in your life and certain things that you would like to happen. Um, but deep down inside, you don't really believe that you deserve it or that you're worthy of that. It's sort of like looking around and it's this comparison again of like, oh, yeah, well, they got that because they did X, Y, and Z. I didn't do that, so of course I'm not going to get that. But um, the thing is that that is actually because they truly believe that they deserved that. Okay, they are still going along that journey. They haven't done the internal work, but they're at a place that you dream you could be. Um, and, and maybe part of you is not understanding why you're not there when you're doing this work. Okay. But be rest assured, there will be a blockage at some point for those people who appear to be further on than you are, okay? But I also want to encourage you to drop that comparison because it's not serving you at all. It's only giving you more ammo against yourself and you really want to have your back, okay, like you do with everybody else around you. You have everybody else's back but your own. So... This is something that is, is really needed. Okay, sorry, I just heard something out there. Always happens when I'm doing the readings. Little noises, little, little fairies and pixies and spirits come out to play because they like freaking me out. And I'm sure they have a good laugh about it. Okay, so it's like, when I was going to do your reading, if you guess, and I was prepping the cards and, you know, getting into my mode, and um, the video turns on. And I'm like, really? Are we really doing this now? Like, I'm not ready yet, if you guess. So, yeah, I know you were keen to get this message. Um, interestingly enough, I've just noticed these candles up in the tree here we've got this bunch of candles here so it's sort of like hmm, it's sort of like the dream or the wishes are coming more into your reality but are still not quite part of it yet 
you know, if you can also, I'm saying about this, you believing that you are worth it. Because you see this big ship here, right? It's like this person here is looking at the ship. Sort of like the energy I get from this is like, oh gosh, I wish I could be on a ship like that. I wish that was me. And there's this little dinghy down here. And the person actually thinks, well, but you know, I'm, I'm really only worthy of the dinghy. But you're actually worthy of this big ship. Okay. And so it's getting yourself out of this mindset. Okay. Hmm. Okay, right. Two cards for you are worth it, please, for a few kiss. Two cards for you are worth it for a few kiss, please. I've got this one popped over. What's that? Trust. Morality. Wow. I'm sure those cards came out together with another. You've seen me shuffling this whole time. And I clear them and do a massive, like, fan shuffle, like, full-on friggin' mixing these cards up, right? I can't remember who it came out with. It was either Scorpio or Libra, I'm not sure. But anyway. Morality and trust. We have these two cards here. I feel like this is you at the point where you decided not to trust your intuition anymore or, or trust that inner voice or maybe not rely on it, okay? Because there was some point in your life where you decided that you may not remember it, but I feel like the gates came down. The gates came down and went, nah, -uh, not doing that again, okay? And it's kind of shut you out and it's it's... It's not enabled you to see things clearly, okay? Um, but it's also not enabled the stinking thinking in your mind to be cleared either. Um, it's sort of like putting that block up actually not only blocked you from using your inner guidance system, but it also blocked anything from being released at the same time, which is pretty interesting, okay? Um and you just see the difference in these two cards. Like you imagine this person just taking all these um, restrictions off them and leaping out, man, into the into oblivion and just allowing it's like allowing the energy to take you where it is. You need to go. It's sort of like the energy is trying to lead you, I feel. Or there's some sort of invisible force that is trying to lead you. And I have a feeling that you can feel this invisible force. And you're scared. It's scary. Okay. And um, it's leading you to the big ship. It's leading you to the big ship. But you don't believe you're worthy of that. So this is something that you need to work on here. I do want to pull just one more card for that because just to see, tell me one that didn't jump out the way I wanted it to. Should I have a look at it? Was it that card? I don't even know where I put it now. Okay, right. One card. But you are worth it, morality and trust. One card, please. For a few kisses. Last card flipped up. What is it? The dream. See? Here again, dreaming. Dreaming of what it is that you could have, but not quite believing that you'll receive it or that. That's not for people like me. But you can have that. This is the thing, if you guess. You can have that plus more. It's just clearing out the stuff 
that no longer serves you. Okay? It no longer serves you. It's sort of like holding on to it as protection so that you don't forget and you don't allow it to happen to you again. But now what is has happened is, is I can't even talk, is it is inhibiting you and it's holding you back. It's holding you in this cage, right? And I just really want you to spread your wings and fly because that is what you deserve, you know? You deserve for that to happen. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you've been left in the cold. You've been left with nothing. And it's almost like this the dry, crumbled up old leaf is, is all that's left there for you sort of thing. Like that's that mindset. And I feel like it's important for you to now shift out of that and... Um, And to understand that you are worth so much more than that. And I want to say about this with the leaf is that it could be that somebody stole from you. Somebody took all that you were worth and um, and ran away with that. And now appears to be doing wonderful while you're still trying to put all the pieces back together. They destroyed your dream. And this is where it's hard for you to open up and trust again. But please still do the work, okay? Because you're never going to get that if you don't do the work, okay? I, I honestly, I assure you it's definitely worth it, okay? Um, and I say that because you're worth it, all right? Three cards, okay? Two cards, we've got soul pop up two more cards for a few kiss please two more cards for a few kiss oh, they're not going to come out let's have a look at this one then practice good soul care the quality of our outer life is always dependent on the quality of care we give to our soul i love that Yes, you totally needed to hear that today. Okay, so two more cards for a few kiss, please. Dance. No, that's three. We just, let's do this one then. When we ask for guidance, take action and put our faith in an outcome we can't yet see. We've begun to dance with grace. Okay, I'm going to read that again because I think I missed out a word. When we ask for guidance, take action and put our faith in an outcome we can't yet see. We, we've we begun to dance with grace. Yes, it's so true. And that's just it for you. It's like that, you know, no, can't see it, not going to trust it. <laughs> that that um, that force that is pushing you, you're like, nah, uh, uh, not going to buy it. Um, yeah. So last card here, we have peace. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Yes, I love this. And this is what I was, um, this sort of, to me, relates to what I was saying before about the external and the internal, right? One or the other, you've still got work to do. When you're combining both, you're making much more progress. So this is what I feel like is very important for you, Ephucus. Okay, so yeah, I love this. You know, in order to nurture your soul, make sure you dance so you can bring peace into your life. Yeah? Oh, that's so neat. Okay, Ephucus, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.